Hello and welcome to Milwaukee Mile. We are in the ARCA car and I am checking to make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, making sure the audio is recording at least. Uh, a little late jumping out to qualifying, but that's fine. We're not at a two minute road course or anything, so it should be fine. In fact, we are at a mile. I think I already said it. Milwaukee Mile. Very fun track. I love this place. You're going to see me doing some shifting, although I think uh, you can get away with either. I did not do my settings yet. I am all kinds of behind. Everyone's going to be waiting on me. Oops. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Quit wasting everyone's time. Yeah, we definitely want to get that brake bias back. I think it really helps to have that extra turn on entry with how flat this place is. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. So we have a 57% brake bias. And head out there. I don't think I'm going to have top, You're all clear. Stay behind the line. top level times because... You know, first race of the week on Monday, we've got some of the really fast guys in here, like Larry Pace and I think Justin E. Yeah, he's in here as well. So you know they're going to be flying. My all-time best is a 381, but that was the last time we were here. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that or not uh, with the current track conditions and such. Green, green, green. But we'll try. We'll try to get as uh, okay. close to it as we can at least. Interesting. Trek feels grippier. Kind of caught that guard. I was I was getting farther left than I expected I'd be able to. So maybe the practice session was a little bit slicker than what we've got right here. I want to try to do a little bit better than that though. Two tenths off my vest. Seventh position. Feel like I can. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, I got loose. That's bad. Dang. Not very good. That sucks. So, first lap will be the better one. 578. Could have been better. Definitely. Um, just the track felt a little bit different. Maybe it's all in my head. The track felt just a little bit different. And uh, the grip level is so important when you've got such a flat track and you're just trying to push it as far as you can, like kind of on the edge, without it breaking loose too much. And so finding that balance is so important. And when they move the goalposts on you, I felt like I was searching for it through the corner rather than uh, kind of getting an idea of where the limit is and riding along it, you know what I mean? Probably overdrove a little bit too, trying to get too much, but that's okay. Shane gives us a good luck. Of course, we got a couple of familiar faces in here. First race of the week, which I'm very happy to uh, be able to participate in. Shane gives a good luck. Thanks. Good luck. So there's the uh, the list here. We got Gavin, Rob Chan in here as well. There's so many people that uh, I recognize. I want to say good luck to everybody, but I'd be here all day. I wouldn't even make the start of the race. <laughs> so, we'll leave it at that and make sure I didn't miss anybody that might have said, said it to me. Good. <sighs> all right. Good luck, everybody. Mm -hmm -hmm. Seventh place. We're right behind Gavin. That's cool. Shane will be on the outside row in front of us. May I'll hopefully not run anyone over. Just giving a look. Yeah, you see you got Larry up there in the threes. You know, about 578 was what I was running in practice, I think. I think I'm actually not too far off, because I remember he was in the threes. And uh, I was two tenths off, so I guess I'm all right about where I was in practice. You'll be lining up on the inside. Because like I said, this right time, the 381, I got here last time. So I guess maybe I've gotten worse. <laughs> you don't get any extra I don't know. I'm going to do last lap. I am going to be shifting. Like I said, you, I don't think you have to. I think it's personal preference because I kind of went back and forth 
and that was kind of indecisive. But I personally, I, I want to shift because I have a bad habit of getting on the right front too much, and I feel like getting that extra, you know, extra oomph can get it on the right rear a little bit more and maybe be good for me and my tire saving failures. <laughs> well, Gavin to watch too, you know, he's pretty good. Right in front of us. He was saying he was getting loose at a corner. I think a second gear start, maybe. That seems fine. He was saying he was getting loose out of the corner. Of course, everyone is, but he was, uh, he was concerned about Qual. He did better than me, so. Seems to me like he had it under control. <laughs> Top five starts, pretty good. Hopefully we can see the leader. Nope. Ready car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. All right. Car outside. Clear high. Car outside. Go low. Outside is clear. Yeah, we're gonna get inside. sent a little bit. Still there at the bottom. I'm not going to shift here. I'm a little too unsettled right now. A little worried about the clear. guy on the inside. He gets there though. We're clear. That's all I ever really wanted. <laughs> Eighth place. I think it'll be important to keep on the inside. Kind of uh, protecting that inside line. Not pushing out too far. I do want to move the brake bias, bias back further. I didn't think to do that. snapped on me. Holy cow. Alright. <laughs> Get that back further, which I clearly don't need to do Green if I'm going to get loose, but I'm going to do it anyway. I have a death wish. She gets a little loose out of the corner. I'm going to try to get the car turned on braking rather than having to turn the wheel. Yeah, that was a pretty good corner. Much better than last lap, that's for sure. Five's opening the door. Let's see if we can walk through that. Oh, Shane in the wall a little bit. Outside. Still there, hold your line. He ain't. Outside is clear. Car outside. Uh, I think I pushed it a little bit too hard trying to get that done. Okay, we got him though. We got him. Got to work on my passing, but eventually got it done. It's definitely tough. It's hard work. I will say that. Feels like hard work He's driving seven. around here. And not just because I'm shifting, but because... Gotta fight that looseness, for sure. I'm hoping uh, doing the shifting will make sure it doesn't get tight later. But who knows, maybe it'll get loose and I'll regret it. <laughs> but my guess is we'll be on the right front. I've been wrong before. That was not as good as a of a three and four that time. Not that time was. So I should days. try to be a little bit more consistent. See if we can do it a little bit better this time. snap on me, geez. Maybe I don't want to shift, because it seems like it's really snapping once I shift back into fourth gear. I don't know, first, my first race of the week, I'm still learning. 
Even if I've been here before, it's always a little bit different, it feels like. There's always something a little bit different. that wall. Seventh position. Okay, that was a pretty good corner. It feels good when you begin to just like wrap the bottom. You can back up a little bit. You've almost back me like three times now. I was pushing hard. I saw him getting the wall just a little bit earlier. Overdrove it. Can I bring it back? I think I need to straighten the wheel out a little bit more on exit. Help with that looseness. Pretend I'm pointing towards the outside wall, and then the looseness that I get will bring me where I need to be. What happens if I don't shift? Felt slower. I don't know. I wonder if Gavin's shifting. I feel like normally he, if there's a choice, does not shift. Same with Nick. I, on the other hand, see I tend to shift if I uh, if it's an option. I just I find it fun. I like fighting the loose race car. So maybe uh, not shifting is the better way. Be watching other people's perspectives and seeing uh, how things work out for them. Right now, P7 was not so bad. I would take that. Not as strong as uh, it usually is of a field for the first race of the week, but it's still a 3.3k. It's not bad at all. Shane might have got the wall behind me. I'm not sure. Or just got loose. I just saw some movement from him back there. Not even halfway, so there's still time for things like tires to come into play, for sure. Kind of losing track of the guys in front, that's a little bit concerning. might have found our pocket. <laughs> kind of where we're supposed to finish, maybe. Who knows? But like I said, lots of time for things to evolve. Just trying to keep it smooth. Don't want to slide and get the tires hot. That's just going to make it harder for us. corner. Hmm. That was a 31.2. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Just trying to get that green up top. That's what I want to see. Too. Look how much time I lost. Just a tiny bit of an overdrive. Got a little bit of a gap behind Shane back there if uh, he were to catch him past me, but well, I don't want him to do that anyway. So hopefully we can keep ahead of them, but if not, at least we'll have a little bit of room to work with. But nah, stay back there. I want 7th at least. <laughs> I'm not giving this away, man. This isn't... This is no charity, no free spots. 
<laughs> he's gonna come up here and earn it, I'm sure. You're just done. Uh, so I'm watching him lurking back there, and he's probably saving tires better than me. Since I don't know how to do it. Probably making things worse by shifting. They're just continuing to pull away from me in front, though. That's for sure. <sighs> Tried not shifting there. Kind of worked. Let's see here. little slower. I don't know. Like I said, it's super close. I think it kind of just depends on your preference. That's really what I'm thinking. So here, it looked much slower. Third gear is a no-go. <sighs> Don't tell me you spawn, Justin. Just about. Say no on I thought someone gear? might try that. <laughs> I guess no one else is doing it. It's probably just me. Just me shifting, I guess. Fuel levels are fine. You've just done a 31.5. Justin 5. says it's a no-go. <laughs> I see right on the pack, it makes my brain think. So maybe it is not a, uh, a shifty track. I don't know though, it's pretty fun. <laughs> we'll try again, we'll see uh, if we can get a good lap without shifting. I think I, I'm doing better with shifting. I mean, look at that, we just lost a 10. We'll try it in three and four. Hmm. So that was better. Shift one and two, don't shift three and four. I don't know, man, I'm lost. I think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try shift in one and two, don't shift three. Behind is now not point eight. The lap time was at thirty one point five. So now don't shift three and four, see how that works. execute the marks. Well, I think I it doesn't it. even Can't matter so much whether I'm shifting or not. I just have to hit my marks regardless. I think that's probably what's going on here. So far so clean though. We've really seen nothing going on in terms of wrecks or anything like that. Like I said before, we kind of found our little pocket here. Kind of pulling away from Shane now just a bit. But uh, I don't think they're we're getting any closer to the people in front either. See, that felt pretty tight. Like I do want to shift right there. Hmm. 
seventh place, though, would be just fine, even if we don't catch up to anybody or anything. Don't really have anyone to race, but that's okay. Sometimes you just have your own pace. And no one else is really around you. Car is getting tighter. Trying to fight back. The gap behind is now 1.4 seconds. Getting loose off the corner. That was a 31.6. Alright, shifting is a go. Now, now Justin's saying shifting's good. So maybe it's just a leader in the run thing, I don't know. What am I doing this corner? Why did it turn so well there? Did I break more than I normally do? I accident? This is hard. Why did it turn so well? <laughs> that was kind of strange, actually. Like, all of a sudden it felt like I had a ton of grip out of nowhere. I feel like I, I must have accidentally slowed down too much for the corner. For that to happen. But hey, if I want to get mysterious grip out of nowhere, that's fine with me. Can't let Shane catch up. Don't want that to happen. Ten to go. This time, Ten to go. Car still feels fine. Car Just got a little bit tighter, but not unbearable. You can see it's uh, a lot of it is just me needing to execute because I'm going green, red, green, red. We got some passes going on. Oh, there's a wreck. Low car up high. That sucks Stop for them. Does this guy have damage? I know the damage model's been weird lately. Very resilient. Suddenly, suddenly we're uh, six though. That was not a good lap. Sixth place. You're reeling. No breaker. The gap is now 1.0 seconds. Slow car down low. Uh oh, now what? That is a lap, lap car with issues. I think that, that that might be the guy that was wrecked. Not sure. I don't think we're gonna catch this three. I think he's faster than I am. That lap time was 31.7. But, you know, I'm gonna try. Even if it kills me, apparently. Sweating, man. We had a better corner than he did that time. I had a pretty good corner in general, actually. was looking good and then the exit was not good. You got five left to go. I feel like I overdrove it, I just maybe didn't get the right angle for the second half of the corner or something. P6. Trying to get on it, got on it a little bit too much there. Yawed out a little bit too much. I'm 
I'm pushing hard. I'm trying to catch him. You've just done a 31.8. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Oh. Maybe I just need to keep it consistent. Pushing might be doing worse for me. Didn't I run this for a huh? Thirteen up there, lap down. Must have gotten into trouble. Slow guard down low. He's in the grass. Not sure what's going on there. Two more. Let's go. Helps us out though. That got him all off of his line. Two to go. Charging hard. Coming to the white flag. Mommy, you passed me. <laughs> We're not close enough. We're, I don't think there's any way I catch catch him, much less pass him. But it's fun to try. White flag, one more lap. The lap time was 31.8. You know, maybe he makes a mistake. I can race that one. Good race. <laughs> that was that was pretty good stuff. All right, sixth place. Sixth place. That's the finish. Ooh, who well got done. it? Larry Pace. I think All right. Did good race. Good win. Good Ooh. job. Very that was good a job. tough one. That was tough, but that was a lot of fun. Good race. Shane kept me honest back Thanks, there man. on my tail. <laughs> Almost caught, uh, who was that, the three? You know, the three, after he got into some sort of trouble. Not sure exactly what happened, but we'll be able to see the incidents in just a moment. Gavin had a great race. Fourth place. How about that? So he gets himself a top five. We we'll just missed out. But sixth place is pretty good, too. And we park it. Also, I meant to address this earlier, but... Um, K5 Championship did start Sunday, last Sunday. But unfortunately, during the feature race of it, my computer's power cable came unplugged and it corrupted my recording. So if you're wondering where that is, this is something I should have said at the start of the video, but that's why that's not uploaded. I was bad on my tires, sure looks like. I think I'm kind of glad I did shift as much as I did. So if anything, that's going to be on the right rear. So. Hmm. Let's uh, go ahead and check out the uh, incidents. Yeah, Gavin was part of that group uh, pulling away. I just didn't quite have that pace that those guys ahead did, but they all kind of uh, finished near each other there. 4, 2 .2, 0.5, 5.1. So that'll be a fun one to watch. Of course, as it always is, Gavin's channel as seen here. <laughs> Incidents. That is what we are here to do now. Let's make sure we're not missing anything and go. Wow, that, uh, that was interesting. So this is the wreck. It was the three. 
So the three is up there, and then he tries to pull a slick move, I think, and try to get to the inside. Hmm. But this is kind of like the turn end point. And then, uh... Yeah, he just runs over the five. That's definitely on the three. Especially if you're going to pull a wild move like that. I mean, for me, this part of the fence is my breaking point, generally. And so the three just kind of switches into the... land that the five's in and then isn't ready to slow down for him. So if the if this guy is trying to defend himself there, I mean, you just... I mean, that's on him. He's just got to apologize for that. I mean, it's not like the five's blocking or anything. It Because it looked like... You know, it looked like the three's on his outside. So the five's like, okay, I'll give him that lane. And then three decides he doesn't want that lane. He wants to run into the five. <laughs> so. I think it's pretty clearly on the three there. And 22 gets in the back of the 10. Oh, I see what's happening here. So the 22 is kind of afraid of the 13, I think. Because the 13's kind of diving it in on him. And so he's trying to, he's scared he's going to get in the back of him, probably speeding up a little bit, because, jeez, it looks like he was going to. But unfortunately, by looking in his mirror and trying to avoid the 13, speeds up and hits the 10, which actually solves both problems for him, but uh, I'm sure he didn't mean to do that. And then that's the race. Generally pretty clean. We just had a, those couple of uh, issues. The 9 decides to give himself incident points after the finish for some reason. Is he not happy with this finish? That's a good top 10. I don't know. Probably just messing around. But, uh, yeah. That will do it. You guys having some discussions? But, uh, pretty good race. Love this track. Had a fun time. And uh, that'll do it here for the Milwaukee Mile. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. See ya.